get ready my friend in the month of april on the 15th day early in the morning that was when the children of israel left egypt that's when they were delivered and on the 15th right here at worship and faith we will be having two services one at 11 45 a.m and the other 7 p.m send in your prayer requests send your first fruit seed in and let us believe god because we're going to usher in i believe one of the greatest years that we have ever experienced in all the years of our lives april We have got to learn how to let hope. The Bible says hope is the anchor for the soul. That means you can't lose hope. Every day you get up, you have to believe this is the day that the Lord has made. And it's my day for a miracle. Somebody telling me about hope, 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 hope. Courtney McLean School of Ministry presents Preaching 101. Are you looking to go forward in ministry? Are you called to preach? Do you have a desire for souls? Then Preaching 101 is just for you. Course begins April 24th to May 23rd, 2015. For further information, you may call us at 943-4562 or 564-9816. Business owners, WAFIF will be hosting a business development seminar on April 25th between 4 and 6 p.m. entitled Five Ways to Massive Profits. Come and hear from Jamaica's number one business coach, Marcia Woonchoy, from the world's number one business coaching firm, Action Coach. Limited spaces are available, so register now. You are invited to a special ordination service of Bishop Courtney McLean, who will be ordained as an ambassador at large to the United Nations through Covenant International University, USA. This will be held on Sunday, April 19th at 10 a.m. I don't know if you remember this little baby. She had a bent foot. I think, so. I think it was about 2012, 2013. Her foot was bent like this, and one was, her feet was like K. Yes. And you prayed, and you said to us that it's my little granddaughter. We must, um, if, it don't, if it don't happen instant, just don't worry about it. And look at her feet now. Welcome to Miracles Now. I am Courtney McLean, pastor of Worship and Faith International Fellowship and author of two awesome books, Honoring God, the Gateway to Success and Turning Nothing into Something. You just saw the powerful testimony of our dear sister Brooks. And sister Brooks brought her daughter to me, not her daughter, but her granddaughter. Both legs turned in. And you're seeing that on the screen right now. But after prayer, I said to her, don't worry yourself. You might not see the leg straighten immediately, but let's believe God that he will complete that which he has started. And she is here in person to share with us the tremendous experience that she had when she saw the leg being straightened from day to day or month after month it got better and better, and the child didn't need to get a surgery. Welcome to the program, Sister Brooks. Yes, yes Pastor. I'm here today as a, as a living miracle with my granddaughter to prove to the world that God still works 
in, in, in today's world because people, some people disbelieve and say there is no miracle, but I know this is a living miracle in front of me because our legs were like a K. Yes. Like a K. Mm. I, don't, I can't even tell which one now was the straight <laughs> was and the, which one was bent. Wow. wow. But I came here in 2013 you, and you prayed and you said it might not happen now, but it gradually happens. And when we reach home, we still continue to pray and believe God, even though it looked like it wasn't happening. We still, all when I see it not working, I say it's going to work. It will work. Mm. And I believe and see today, it's a miracle. Our two feet, no surgery was done. I have proof to show that no surgery was done on her legs. No, you, you had gone to Apex, you said? No, it's the mother. The mother took her to Apex? Yeah, to her regular um, pediatric. Doctor. Okay, and the doctor looked at it and said she's going to need a surgery. Yes, because the mother used to feel curious going yeah. on the road. Everybody asks, what happened to your foot? Why, why her foot is like that? Mm. And she never kind of feel good about it. So but rather planning. than going to get surgery done, you came to I church. I tell her to come to church. My God. <laughs> wow. And in your own words, in your own words, what happened after? Tell, tell the people again. I want you to look in that camera. It's and like, I want you to tell the people what happened. God has been working miracles over and over and over in my life. And when I tell people, they, they just can't believe. People can't believe. Because I came here one Wednesday last year, July 2014. And when I came the day, I had no money. I'm not ashamed to talk. I had no money more than 150 Jamaican dollars. And that was supposed to buy my dinner in Jamaica. And all I was going to buy was a tongue and one pound of uncut chicken back. I'm not ashamed. Yes, yes. And Pastor Reynolds was preaching in Hoa Power Service. And he said, we must sow a seed. And I was in the line just going up for prayer. And he said, well, if it's prayer you people want, come for prayer. But don't come up here empty. And then I turned back and I took the 150 and I gave my bigger granddaughter $50. And I took the $100 and I sowed that seed. And... I think it was the next day or two days later, a lady called me and gave me a job for a quarter million. My God, quarter million Jamaican yeah. dollars, yeah. $250,000. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You were sharing about another financial miracle. People sowing and reaping works. And this is why I've been challenging you, even as we move towards the 15th of April. And I'm telling you that the 15th of April is going to be a significant day of prayer for us because it is really us commemorating the time when the children of Israel left Egypt. Early the morning of the 15th, they left Egypt. And I'm believing God with you and for you that on that day, God will begin to manifest significant things in your life. But you've got to understand sowing and reaping is important. It's not just that $150 that she gave. This is someone who sacrificed. This is someone who takes counsel. A matter of fact, the last seed I challenged persons to give was $20,015. And you obeyed God, representing 2015. And you, and borrowed you borrowed it. My God, you have some radical faith though, sister. I borrowed it and I saw it. And things have been changed completely. I've been mm. getting work. Wow. Yes, I need people to help me to sew now. <laughs> yes. You mean to sew in your business? Yes. Wow. You need help. Labor Listen, yes. man, I have some people who need work. I, I can get set yes, you up. All Master, right. I definitely need help. Thank you, Jesus. So you are now employing people? I used to employ at about seven people and things break Think, down wow. to zero, ground zero. Mm -hmm. And God, I start sewing. So anybody don't want to sew, Bishop, I don't know. Mm. Them have to sow, if it's even your last, whatever you have. It have to be big, but sow, sow from your heart and give with, with a grateful heart. And share with other people also. Give mm. to others, because sometimes you come to church and see people and you don't know if they heat or whatever. Just give, give mm. somebody. I sow into the, 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 the need basket and if you don't have the ability to know who to give it to, sow it in the need basket and God will prosper you also. Were you the one who shared that you helped this elderly gentleman who didn't have anything? And you, 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 what did you do? How, how? Actually, he's my neighbor, you know. Yes. 
he, he, he sometimes he's there and he can manage and I I make sure every day, even if I come to church, I just make sure him get something three times a day or mm. two times per day. Mm -hmm. Whatever I do. Awesome. Sometimes I give him and I don't even bother to cook. If I can't get to cook, I mm. buy it and give him. My God. I buy the cook you see, the, the Bible says if we give to the poor, you know, yeah. we're lending to God. And this is why as a church, we, we ensure that we have ministry that caters to those who are in need. Doesn't mean that we'll be able to help everybody but you must ensure as a child of god that you are reaching out to those who are in need or get connected to a ministry that that helps the poor we for us we rent a house and we we put someone in it who can't afford to pay rent nor take care of themselves send them back to school and then we also collect needy offerings and help persons from that. We also have a school wherein persons who can't afford the school fee, we are taking them in and they are doing well at the CSEC exams, in the CSEC examinations. So you have got to partner with ministry. That's not just uh, about the, 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 the ministry itself, but you have got to ensure that the ministry that you're partnering with, it's reaching out to those who are in need because as the ministry does that, there is a blessing that flows from that ministry and flows back in your life just as it did Sister Novelette Brooks. What a tremendous testimony. What an awesome God we serve. That, that's three, three major testimonies that you just shared. Number one, what's her name? Kylie. 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 Kylie's legs or one of her legs was bent. Doctor said, she needed surgery. She came to me. I prayed. Did I anoint it? Yes, with olive oil. Anoint the leg with olive oil and prayed over that leg, telling her, don't worry if it's not straightened immediately. Because what I sense is that it's going to be straightened. God is going to do it. Yes. And friend, God straightened the child's leg. This is the lady who testified on Wednesday that we prayed for visiting your niece or your granddaughter. Both uh, legs were turned in and we prayed and we told her, you don't worry if you don't see it happen immediately. Uh, little by little, the end time, I think it's going to be straight. And the doctors wanted to break it in order to reset it. Where's the baby? That's the baby sleeping over there. Where? Somebody lift up that child, and the baby's legs, both legs are totally straight right now. Clap your hands and praise God. There she is. There she is. Clap your hands and give the Lord a shout of praise. Lift her up, 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 lift her up. Again, we, we want to thank God. We, we give God the glory for what he has done in Sister Novlet's life. And uh, Sister Novlet, what would you say to persons who are in dire need of a miracle? They might be waiting out there and medicine can't help them. Or maybe they don't have the money to do any surgery. What would you say to someone like that? But it's not about money, Bishop. It's about your faith. Yes. Lift your faith and believe. Because mm. I keep spreading the word for other people to know that God is real. Yes. But some people just can't get it. Mm. And I don't know how else. But see me on TV and know people will believe. Because a lot of people know this little girl. Yes. And at least... They can know that I'm not lying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have no reason to lie. Hallelujah. 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 Well, Jamaica, nations of the world, there you have it. Testimony of Sister Novlet Brooks. She brought her granddaughter to us. We prayed for the, the granddaughter, anointing that leg with olive oil. And it's amazing. 
it's just amazing when we look at how straight the leg is god is indeed an awesome god and not only that but our entire financial situation has been changed because of sowing and reaping and also applying the the business principles yes. that i've been sharing with yes. you because i told her of some principles that she need to apply to her business and she has been doing that what an awesome god we serve yes. What an awesome, awesome God. God is good. Thank you for coming in and sharing with us, God Sister Brooks. Good. God is good. God bless you. What an awesome God we serve. I, I just can't get enough of these testimonies. They keep blowing me away, blessing me. And uh, I know without a shadow of a doubt that many of you this morning, you were blessed or today you were blessed by the testimony that you just received now we're going to pause and we're going to take a few more remember without faith it is impossible to please god for he that cometh to god must believe that he is and that he is a reward of those who diligently seek him and that's what sowing and reaping does it takes faith to let go of the seed that you do have in order to receive what you don't have but you see in order to receive what god has in his hand you must release what you have in your hand. You cannot receive with your hands closed. It must be open. Let's take these testimonies and upcoming events. I'll be back with you in a little bit. Bishop McLean prophesied in December 2012 that Yashika Ramdin would receive employment by January 2013. Miss Ramdin advised that just as Bishop McLean said, she received a job in January 2013. Exactly one year after, she got promoted to a managerial role. She is now the youngest member of staff and manager in the company. To God be the glory. Okay, I have a testimony um, on behalf of my daughter. Um, she had a hernia um, from about 2010. I take her to several doctors uh, and they say because it was too small, they couldn't deal with it. However, I came to Wafi at um, Family Health Fund Day and the doctor told me the same thing. And after Bishop had a session of blessing some water one night, I gave it to her to drink. And after she drank the water, there was no more for months. I've been watching it for months now, and it has not come back. So I'm just here to testify and give God thanks. Get ready, my friend. In the month of April, on the 15th day, early in the morning, that was when the children of Israel left Egypt. That's when they were delivered. And on the 15th, right here at Worship and Faith, we will be having two services. One at 11.45 a.m. and the other 7 p.m. Send in your prayer requests. Send your first fruit seed in. And let us believe God. Because we're going to usher in, I believe, one of the greatest years that we have ever experienced in all the years of our lives. April. Let your angel release that one that is sitting that has been bound. Angel, release her. One. Release her. Two. Release her. Three. I command and I declare now. Holy Ghost, that one, I command your power. May your power release her now. Now, I command by the authority. Hey, young woman in yellow, move here, so. Now, in the name of Jesus, angels, angels, carry her now. Now, 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 bring her, bring her, now. Leave her, leave her. Zito Angels, now. 
Now, angels, carry her. Hold that. Stop. Courtney McLean School of Ministry presents Preaching 101. Are you looking to go forward in ministry? Are you called to preach? Do you have a desire for souls? Then Preaching 101 is just for you. Course begins April 24 to May 23, 2015. For further information, you may call us at 943 4562 or 564 9816. Business owners, WAFIF will be hosting a business development seminar on April 25th between 4 and 6 p.m entitled five ways to massive profits come and hear from jamaica's number one business coach marcia Wunchoy from the world's number one business coaching firm action coach limited spaces are available so register now you are invited to a special ordination service of bishop courtney mclean who will be ordained as an ambassador at large to the United Nations through Covenant International University, USA. This will be held on Sunday, April 19th at 10 a.m. Friend, my heart goes out for the many persons who are suffering and who are going through. I just actually went to the Fort Augusta prison to do a crusade. And I want to reach out to the inmates there uh, and say, God's grace be yours. May God strengthen you and help you during this season. May God pull you out. May God turn things around in your life. And there are some persons who are actually not in, in prison. But guess what? They are in the prison of sin, sickness, emotional bondage and trauma. May God set you free. This is a season for liberation. And I want for you to know that God is ready to resurrect areas in your life. Would you lift your faith? Would you lift your faith? Right? As a matter of fact, I feel an anointing and I want for us to pray right now. I want for you to begin to reach out to Jesus Christ. Whatever your situation is, reach out to him. Listen, you have got to climb in prayer. In order to climb out of your situation. You have got to learn to draw nigh to God. He said in Jeremiah 33. 3, he said call unto me. And I will answer thee. And show thee great and mighty things that he know not of. So right now. Father we call upon you. And we pray in the name of Jesus that you'd begin to move in the lives of your people. I pray, Lord God, that areas of their lives that the enemy wants them to write off and would say to them that there would never be a turnaround, that you'd intervene and that you'd resurrect it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood against depression and I pull that person out this morning in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood against oppression. I plead the blood against sickness disease every trauma every demonic spirit that is in operation in your life i command it to out in the name of jesus loose your hold on god's people in the mighty name of jesus christ i release healing i release deliverance i command financial miracles and a radical turnaround in your life in the name of jesus i speak revival in your spirit revival in your soul in the name of jesus i pull you out of the shackle i pull you out of the bondage and the dry season that you're in and I declare revival in your life. I declare salvation has come to your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we worship and we praise you for bringing a turnaround in the lives of your children. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you're not saved, pray right now to receive Jesus Christ as Lord. Say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Wash me in your blood. Come into my heart. Save me. Save me. Save me. Amen. Amen. Call the numbers at the bottom of your screen and let us know that you just received Jesus Christ. 
as Savior and Lord. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in one of our services. I do pray that you would just have a great day and a great week and that God would literally shift things in your life. This is all we have time for. And I'm, look, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Listen to me. Go to church. Crocodile love swamp. Lion love jungle. Birds like to fly. Christians must love church just like how fish can do without water. Go to church. You'll be blessed. God bless you. Bye-bye. Get ready, my friend. In the month of April, on the 15th day, early in the morning, that was when the children of Israel left Egypt. That's when they were delivered. And on the 15th, right here at Worship and Faith, we will be having two services. One at 11.45 a.m. and the other 7 p.m. Send in your prayer requests. Send your first fruit seed in. And let us believe God. Because we're going to usher in, I believe, one of the greatest years that we have ever experienced in all the years of our lives. April. We have got to learn how to let hope. The Bible says hope is the anchor for the soul. That means you can't lose hope. Every day you get up, you have to believe this is the day that the Lord has made. And it's my day for a miracle. Somebody telling me about hope, 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 hope. Courtney McLean School of Ministry presents Preaching 101. Are you looking to go forward in ministry? Are you called to preach? Do you have a desire for souls? Then Preaching 101 is just for you. Course begins April 24th to May 23rd, 2015. For further information, you may call us at 943-4562 or 564-9816. Business owners, WAFIF will be hosting a business development seminar on April 25th between 4 and 6 p.m. entitled Five Ways to Massive Profits. Come and hear from Jamaica's number one business coach, Marcia Woonchoy, from the world's number one business coaching firm, Action Coach. Limited spaces are available, so register now. You are invited to a special ordination service of Bishop Courtney McLean, who will be ordained as an ambassador at large to the United Nations through Covenant International University, USA. This will be held on Sunday, April 19th at 10 a.m. Miracles Now is brought to you by the kind sponsorship of New Walters Pharmacy. 18 High Street, Black River, St. Elizabeth. Telephone number 9652264. And Rima Medical Center, Shop 6, Der Mason Plaza, Independent City, Portmore, St. Catherine. Telephone numbers 9984666 and 7999253.